Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're having another league and this league is in the city of uh, Pretoria. We're looking at uh, the Hatfield area where the University of Pretoria is situated. So basically what you need to know is that uh, South Africa has uh, the top five universities that are considered worldwide. And this is uh, the University of Pretoria is one of them. The Vicks University is, uh, is also one of them. The University of Cape Town is one of them. University of uh, Stellenbosch is one of them and University of KwaZulu-Natal as well is one of them. So uh, we're looking at Hatfield area, that's where the University of Pretoria is situated. So this is basically what you expect to see when you come to this vicinity. And the, uh, and the purpose uh, of, this, uh, of this video is that you could uh, compare and contrast and try to see where uh, Zambia is uh, trying to catch up with uh, in the uh, recent years. And we're looking at the area where there are a lot of flats, uh, which is student accommodation, as well as uh, some of the employees of embassies that are situated in the vicinity. So um, just looking at that, and this is exactly similar to what is coming up in, uh, in the Manda Hill area when you look at the University of Zambia, and uh, slightly what is up in Kitwe as well when you look at the Copperbelt University and uh, the malls uh, surrounding uh, the area. So basically, there is a little bit of some uh, some resemblance over there. Although uh, Zambia as a republic need to work extra hard in order for them to a little bit catch up to this kind of a, a situation uh, uh, that is uh, available and facilities that are available in South Africa. Although we cannot compare South Africa to, uh, we cannot compare Zambia to South Africa because really, I mean, it's just, um, it would be unfair to compare. But anyway, uh, and, uh, nonetheless, Zambia is also trying, it's also doing its level best, but uh, it can be on that level. Uh, we need to remember that. But in order for them to do better, we need to do something similar to what these guys have, uh, have done in these cities. And uh, we're looking at Pretoria at the moment. So that's a Hatfield area where you're going to find lots of cafeterias and uh, you'll find a lot of uh, those uh, buildings over there which is student uh, accommodation. And the cafeterias that are available is like Nando's, uh, Spur, uh, Mochachos, etc. So this is the main road of Hatfield uh, and it gets so busy uh, in most cases. And then uh, just across this uh, area then you're going to find the University of Pretoria some of the entrances. It's a very huge campus so we can't cut everything but we're just trying to showcase a few blocks uh, of, the, uh, of the facility in order for you to have an understanding uh, of the feeling and how it feels and how it looks like when you, got, uh, when you get close to this, uh, to, to this area. So that's more chapters over there and just across the road is spur and then uh, on the other side uh, just an opposite is uh, uh, Nando. So basically what we kind of refer to is that um, the business, education is, is a business, as you know. So if the yeah, Zambian new government don't could focus on this, where they focus on putting up more infrastructure in the vicinities of uh, the uh, higher learning institutions, that could boost the economy. Because in South Africa, a lot of people travel and come from all over the world to study in these universities. So you find that the, uh, the government itself is benefiting from Forex. Because when it comes to students uh, from the SADC region, they get to pay a certain amount of money, which is not the exact amount of money that is paid by the South African nationals. So South African nationals pay a less amount of money when it comes to tuition fees and other uh, boarding fees, etc. So when it comes to students that are coming from overseas, from the countries that are non sadic countries, definitely they pay more, more than the SADC uh, country students as well as the uh, local South African students. So it's big business. So what we're trying to refer to is that if the Zambian government, New Dawn government, could look at this closely and try to be, look at a niche market of uh, making education a business, where they try to uh, improve on their infrastructure and try to attract as many neighboring countries as possible to bring in lots of people from, uh, from the surrounding uh, neighboring countries as well as other overseas countries. That could contribute on uh, a boost in the economy. And one other aspect that we wanted to um, to comment on, uh, as you can see, that's the University of Pretoria over there um, uh, from the uh, area view. So basically, another aspect is the skills development. If you look at the skills uh, skills development, South Africa, when it comes to the basic education, is not that uh, it's not that good in comparison to other countries like Zambia, Zimbabwe, and uh, several other countries that have a very very uh, good basic education. But when it comes to higher learning institutions, it's a world class standard. So uh, Zambians also need to uh, pick up the uh, standard of uh, uh, higher institutions, uh, higher education institutions, in order for them to compete in the market. So, uh, yeah, this is what we wanted to refer to. And something else, lastly, 
is we need to look at skills development development is a serious aspect because uh, some people that graduate from the university they don't have that uh, practicality of implementing what they've started but people that have gone to uh, technical schools and skills development institutions they're capable of working in the industry and actually if you look at the majority of industries they're looking for those kind of graduates that came from skills development so if you're watching for the first time please consider subscribing give us a like and click the notification bell so that you're notified every single time we post a new video uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.